Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Silent Hill 2 Remake. Last time we found ourselves already in the Brookhaven Hospital after Laura had run in there. Uh, looking around the first floor and solving a puzzle, uh, we found Laura and made her as she ran away and went to the second floor and then to the third floor and all that. Chasing after her, we turned on the power to the elevators which allowed us to go to the second floor. Maria started feeling weird, saying that it was just a hangover, and she decided to just chill out in one of the rooms. She was, you know, just sleeping on one of those dirty-ass beds. While we were free to roam the hospital and try and conquer at least uh, many of its uh, crazy puzzles. And we also came across the nurses, which, goddamn, they're... They're a lot harder than the original game. They're 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 a challenge. But we got plenty of bullets, we got plenty of healing items, so we should be okay. The funny thing is after last time, I I said like I was like, I'm I'm done for now. Literally half an hour later, I was like, I I, I want to keep playing. I want to play this, I want to keep playing so badly. Okay, so what did we do? I know we got, yeah, the keypad up there at the nurse station. I know we got a memo for that. Um, we still need the third bracelet. I forgot where that is. Right, we still need the x-ray viewer, which will probably be in the nurse station. That's my guess. Okay, well, regardless, let's make our way up there. Hi. I keep hearing, like, a gasp. Like a... <gasps> and I heard it right as the door opened. I don't know what's going on with that, but it's... I don't want to say it's like unnerving, but it's like it gets me every time. Okay, please don't have come back up, please. Okay, good. That's still going off there. Okay. So what memo whoops do we have for this? So this one. A note with a combination with a new keypad combination found in the doctor's lounge. So is it literally just that simple? Start from the bottom left. I guess it would be seven, four, five, six. Let's try that. Seven, four, five, six. Okay, super easy. Oh, God. Oh, jeez, I'm crow. That is an infestation if I've ever seen one. Yep, there it is. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can... What? what's in them. I really don't want to know. They feed me garbage and rotting meat, crawling with maggots, thick with sinew. They make me bite down, the juices red and yellow, hit the back of my throat. I choke and I gag and I vomit, till my throat is sore. An aching, throbbing tube of flesh. I push it all out, but I can still taste it. They bathe me in filth, in blood and piss and bile. They gently rub human waste all over my body. My skin itches. It peels off like wet paper. 
I beg them to stop, but they don't listen. And then they lock me up with him. He's always there, closer each time, and the rot, it comes with him. It goes within. It becomes me. These are some pretty horrific uh, writings. Like, it actually makes me wonder... Like, I know back in the day, and when I say back in the day, I mean like early 1900s, like 1800s, even 1700s. I saw you. Don't fucking play pretend with me. Um, right, to go up this way. Uh, like in the 1800s and all that, they had really poor treatment of, um, you know, psychiatric patients and all that. Where they would try all kinds of different things. Like even with the um, fr uh, frontal lobe lobotomies. Uh, you know, where they just, like, jam the ice pick, like, right in the side of the eye, like, twirl around, like, just pull out the part of the brain, you know? Like, horrific shit. Um, I'm wondering if, like, some of the writing that's in this game is, like, stuff they've uncovered from that era. Or at least inspired by it. It's really crazy shit, man. Really disgusting. Um, oh, it's moldy. Uh, cleaned up radiograph. Okay. So, how do I rotate? Right. I don't even know how this shit would coincide with each other. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, what is the point of this? So this obviously lines up here, but I mean, I don't know, I feel like something's off with this. So I, this looks like it'd be closer with this. Maybe like, ah. Like maybe like this? Is it just like the scratches are supposed to kind of line up with each other? Is that it? Is it just supposed to be like this? Okay, what does this say about radiology? Um, whoops. Deliver the radiographs to request. However, it looks like the file was incomplete, as one of the pictures was nowhere to be found. We will send somebody as soon as we locate it. Let me know if you need anything else.
Okay. Um, I really hate to do this, but this one I'm actually going to look up. Because I don't know... I don't know what the point of this is. Like, I don't even know... I don't even know what I'm supposed to get out of this puzzle. Like, clearly there's no numbers or letters that I can discern from this. Like, what is the point? So... Yeah, again, I really hate to do this. Huh, okay. So... Apparently they are supposed to form a number. That looks like this one. Yeah, I, I don't know. That would have been like pure random luck. I don't know how I would have figured that out. Okay, so what does it say? Four, three, seven, twelve? Is that 37 or 77? Looks like. So four, three, seven, one, two. Okay. Yeah, I really hate that I had to look that one up. Uh, oh, fuck. So four thirty seven. There we go. What room is this? D1. All the bugs now receded. Though it doesn't sound like they did. Yeah. Okay, um, to the director's office, which is back on the second floor, I believe. That was weird. I walked by and it sounded like someone was like messing with the doorknob. Like jiggling the doorknob. I guess just ambient sounds playing with me. Messing with my brain. Uh, so where was it exactly? No, no, no. I don't like it. If you're dead, you should stay dead. Alright. Oh. That looks 
That's about right there. Not there. Oh, and I can rotate them. Lovely. Yeah, that looks right there. That actually looks right there. It looks right there, I think. Right? No, it was right this way. That also, no, it doesn't look right. Yeah, that looks right. Your storage room key. Okay. Lovely. So let's see what abomination hides behind this door that is the director's storage room. Books. Ugh. Nothing could be more horrifying. Oh, the missing piece. Lovely. Okay, so we have to put this in order, which makes sense. That goes there. That goes there. there yeah yeah I can't do anything else okay so instead of writing all this down I'm just gonna take a picture of it a lot quicker okay easy peasy guys easy peasy Before we do this, I'm gonna have me a Pocky. Because I deserve it. Okay. Mm. Well, that one. That one. Got the mail sign. Got that one. Got the female sign. Oh, there's only six. That is interesting. So there's actually nine symbols. I didn't realize that. So maybe... What if I'm supposed to leave out... Well, obviously we leave out three symbols, but which one? 
Okay, so I'm going to leave out every third one. Because I'm wondering if, like, the gap after every two is, like, you miss out the third one kind of thing. Let's try that. So that one, and then this one. And then this one. This one. No. Okay, let's see if there's something we missed on here. Doesn't look like it. So what was a symbol we got? The symbol we got was the ninth symbol. So what if we do this backwards? So nine, eight, seven we miss, six, five, four we miss, three, two, and one we miss. So let's try that. So we'll start with the second one. So two, and three, four we miss, five, and six, seven we miss, eight, and nine. No. So there, okay. So then the other thing is, the only other thing I think of, there's got to be another six digit combination uh, that we have to find that will equal to this. Or we already have it written down and I'm a fucking idiot. I don't remember where we got this number from though. So 92. 4571. Okay, apologies, folks. I'm just a big dum dum. So, nine, and then two, 45. What's that? And that. And 71, so 7 is this one, and 1 is uh, this one. Rooftop, okay. Their images became blurry, melting together, I could no longer tell. Maybe, oh sorry, not sure if I can do it, but maybe you can. This will take you to where you need to be, though probably not the way you want to. Okay. There's always bound to be some pain, pain involved. There always is. Okay, before we go to the rooftop, we've done everything. I really love, like, the fact that James writes these notes the way he does. I mean, he, in the original game, he did, like, write notes on his map, but this is, like, a lot more elaborate. The only thing missing, really, is the Resident Evil 2-style map, where, like, it actually showed what item was in what room. And if you cleared all the items, it would change the color of that specific portion of the map. But... It might have been too messy. I don't really care about that. That that's that's fine. So we've got to go into the hydrotherapy room. The basement. Ugh. Oh, apparently I didn't try the restroom in the left hand side of the map. But 
But it looks like we got everything else. Um, yeah, I'm not too worried about that one restroom. Actually, well, you never know. Um, can I get to there from there? I can. Alright, let me just check that one restroom. You never know what you might find. Thankfully, we unlock this. Uh, was it here? Nope, wrong way. Is this it? Yep, found absolutely nothing. Okay. Fourth floor we go. And up here. Yeah, we can't go into the hydrotherapy room, right? Let's try. Yeah. Oh, I thought this was the way to... Oh, there was a separate one, right. I love looking up when, like, it's raining. It's so hypnotic. So, yeah. Anyways. There's bullets on the other side, and I want them. Two shells. How many? We got 12, 12 shells. I mean, not amazing, but I mean, I'll take it. I don't have a map of this area. Before I go there, let's see what's in here. May 9, rain. Stared out at the window all day. Peaceful here. Nothing to do. Still not allowed to go outside. May 10, still raining. Talk with the doctor a little. Would they have saved me if I didn't have a family to feed? I know I'm pathetic and weak. Not everyone can be strong. May 11th, rain again. The meds made me feel sick today. If I'm only better when I'm drugged, then who am I anyway? May 12th, rain as usual. I don't want to cause any more trouble for anyone, but I'm a bother either way. Can it really be such a sin to run instead of fight? Some people may say so, but they don't have to live in my shoes. It may be selfish, but it's what I want. It's too hard like this. It's just too hard. May 13, the doctor came in today. He said that I'll be released soon, that it's time to go home. I should be happy, but I'm afraid. I'm so afraid. It feels like something's about to happen, like the last gasp of air before the plunge. But deep down, I know it's too late to turn back. This is really tragic, man. Like, this is really tragic. Like, I'm sure we've all had like moments like this in our lives but it's 
I don't know. Like, everyone's got... It's easy to say, like... Oh, Jesus Christ! That legitimately got me. I'll be honest, I was expecting a pyramid head on the roof, but I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> that legitimately got me. Looks like we're on the other side of this door at least. And we can hear Laura again. I completely forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Fuck, I should have checked that other side of the roof. Oh well. Too late now. Oh, okay, hydrotherapy room. Beautiful, beautiful. There wasn't a door there. There's a window. So two bunnies and a wolf. I wonder what that's supposed to be denoting. Yeah, but there's no door here. What are you, what are you talking about? broke the window but I can't go in weird oh boy Oh, no. No, that's not cool. You know what's crazy about the rain, like the sound of rain? It could be both soothing and terrifying at the same time. I don't? No. I won't, please. Just. I need to know. Mary's my friend. We met at the hospital last year. Stop lying! 
Laura, I, I'm sorry. I... Fine. Don't believe me. See if I care. Hey. Let go. I'm sorry, Laura, but I can't let you just run around this place. You might get hurt. Hurt by what? Look, just stay with me, okay? This is no place for a kid. Fine. But there's something I gotta get. Laura. It's important. What is it? A letter. For Mary. What? I hid it. In there. This is where you left it? It's in the back. Behind an old pipe. Okay, well, wait here. Laura? Ha <laughs> ha! Open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? Want me to open it? Huh? Do ya? Laura, open this door right now. What's the magic word? Laura! Nope, that's not it. I guess I won't open it. Get out of here, you brat! In your dreams, fart face. Please open the door. There's something in here. Sure there is. A big lying fart face. See a fart face! Laura! Laura! <laughs> Jeez. I have no idea if I'm doing any damage to it. Oh, Jesus. Ugh! <sighs> 
There we go. Defeat the flesh lip. So that fight was a little bit different from the original. In the original, there was a bunch of them in that room. This time, there was only one. And it never came down off the floor like that. Like, onto the floor. So it's a nice change to the boss battle. And it looks like we are on the other side. And we still have a map of it, apparently. So we got a whole new different hospital to explore now. So patient number 3141, designation 298.9, .9, room number redacted. Initial symptoms, hyperfocus, current diagnosis, they can be fixed. Recommendations, stop at nothing. Not really recommendation. place you know one of the commenters on a previous video um he, uh, they mentioned they they made a really good comment that it it put the perfect word in my mouth like um the the way that's the other side looks in the original games it was more like like rustic and like more industrial like that kind of shit like very run down and this one, it kind of looks like that as well. Um, but as I said, this commenter said, like, it looks like diseased and plagued. And I'm like, that's that's it. You, you fucking nailed it. That's exactly what it looks like. It looks very diseased and plagued. Like plague ridden. The, like, this looks like a decaying world. And what I really love is that sometimes it's hard to tell, like, where you can go and where you can't. Oh, man. I would not trust myself. I would not trust a fucking elevator in this world. Are you kidding me? Doesn't look like I got much of a choice. Oh, it's missing a button. Uh, okay, I guess third floor is off limits. Am I on the second floor or the third floor? I'm on the first floor. Guess I'm going to the second floor.
And where's Maria? That's the other question. So is that completely blocked off? No, it's not. Yeah, drink from that. Fucking dare you. Oh, what fresh hell is this? Yep, there was something like this in the first game as well, or the original game. It's two combinations, sorry, yeah, one padlock, one combination, and one key. Or two combinations and a key, not a padlock, what am I saying? Oh, that looks just lovely. I'm surprised there's any glass like left intact <laughs> in a place like this. Man, this is both gorgeous and terrifying at the same fucking time. Like, where? Oh, I don't even want to know. How did they make it more terrifying? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, there's nothing here. Oh, these guys, these nurses have knives. Oh, jeez. No, no, no. Dick move throwing both monsters at me at the same time. Dick move. Like, see, like, I don't even know how to navigate through this. Surprisingly, these nurses seem less tougher than their real-world counterparts. Well, I say real-world, but... Um... Why is my light flickering? Usually means there's a mannequin nearby. Okay. Or oh, whatever. Um, fuck, I keep losing my train of thought. Oh well, yeah, I was saying how, how, how beautiful and terrifying this, this whole world is. Like, it's, Bloober did a fantastic fucking job. This is amazing. Ooh. 
Like this is this is how we imagine Silent Hill to be in our in our restless dreams. Well, the other world of Silent Hill anyway. Really? Oh, great. Oh, how we danced, arms flailing, our bodies in perfect synchrony, and the music played, but in any dance there comes a time one must take the lead, and the music got louder and louder. Pounding, pounding, piercing, and then silence. Did they put chains in the person's head? How does that even work? I don't even know what I did. Oh, I see. Broke his arm to lobotomize him. So I need an ice pick, I guess. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm super tense right now. Not many games get me this way, but I'm actually super tense. Kidding me. Okay. I'm gonna finish looking around this area first before I go down. Oh, that's the thing. Mannequin? What is that? Yeah, 
Yep. Head down. <laughs> See legs. kitchen area. Yeah, I fucking saw you. I'm actually surprised James isn't saying more. Like, um... He's not, like, horrified. Like, he's not making, like, comments, like... Gasping more often or anything, you know what I mean? Bring it on, baby. By the way, I'm taking my time around because I'm I'm being very wary of the um, of the mannequins. I'm trying not to let them catch me off guard. Cause like those are easy damage that I can avoid, you know what I mean? Or damage I can easily avoid. This area is clear. What? Oh, yeah. Come on, James. So that's where I came from. Can I pick up more shotgun ammo, please? Okay. Is it just you?
Why did the music pick up? What, what, what? Oh, I saw something run. Someone rush. Something rush. Oh, there you are. I'll let you come out. My legs. Ah, fuck. I really should be using my ammo more. I don't want to run out of healing items. And I know we got tons. I know that. But you see how quickly like they bombard you, right? Oh, shit. Are you... That's, this is another big gripe of mine with this game. If I'm able to miss while swinging because I'm too far, then they shouldn't be able to slide like halfway across the fucking floor and be able to hit me. Like, that's not, that's not fair. And I get their monsters. I get it's a fucking game, but come on. Like, that's, that's such a cheap way of doing things. Of like making the monsters more scary. It's so fucking cheap. It just frustrates me more than scares me. Oh. Key of bliss. Yeah, I bet. I'm gonna guess we explored everywhere. Except the pharmacy. I don't even know how to fucking get back there. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, see, like, that door opening, it sounded weird. It sounded like a monster, like, I don't know, not crying, but it sounded like a monster noise. Lapis eye key. Uh, considering the pharmacy was the only place that was locked, I'm guessing that's where we need to take it. So back, it was back this way. Oh, you're looking at that. Okay, don't run. This might be monsters. Where's the pharmacy? Oh, maybe it was the chain box. Oh, I didn't check the others. Did I not check that side? Wait. Oh, here. 
I didn't check that side at all. One down. I really appreciate the chains on the floor too. As a way of like in case you get lost, where to go. I have to go up there. Sorry, I'm just hearing footsteps. I don't know. Okay, if you if you're not listening to this on headphones, you really should. It's. The sounds are so jarring because I'm hearing everything everywhere. So I'm like, I'm always like on edge and it's, it's fucking brilliant. It's so well done because it's just ambient noise. Well, except for that, but there's a lot of ambient noise in this place. And I just heard the gasp again. Which makes me think it's a monster. God, I don't know where to go. Okay. Let's... I mean, it all kind of leads to the same place anyway. Okay, I saw... Saunders go that way. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Um, well, I guess, yeah, I have to go in there. What are you looking at? So there's pills. Watch it go dark. Huh. One year they've been watching me. So many pills they fed me. When a loud hour comes, I tremble every time the light falls. So there's a clock over there. So I need I need to I thought I heard footsteps, but it's just the ambient sounds. So I need... I need to use... Jesus Christ. Okay. 
Oh fuck. I okay, I tried to heal. I wasn't expect I wasn't ready for it. I I'll be honest. Yeah, I know I died. Thank you. I'm all the way here. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. I'll be back, guys. So I've actually done a look around. There are no nurses. Like, they'll only show up when you do the timer. So, yeah, we just gotta be fucking ambient noises. So, you just gotta be ready. Okay. Here we go. I think you just gotta go in here. Saw you. So does that mean I have to keep doing it? I think that's probably what it means. No, I can't interact with it anymore. So what did that do? Chains broken. There's nothing I can do with this.
Do I just have to sit here and wait for it to actually go dark? Is that a cat? That a cat got lost in Silent Hill. Jesus! to do here. Hang on, the graphics are acting all wonky on me again. Maybe there's something else I need to get from one of the other rooms, like from the other side. <sighs> but sadly, I'm going to have to call it here. Because, again, for now, this is all I can, uh, this is all I can pretty much take. Um, I'm a little tense. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's, it's again, surprising how wound up this game has got me going, especially in the hospital specifically. I haven't really felt this way since, uh, I, I know during Alan Wake too, if you guys watch that playthrough, I said that I was like tense. I'm more tense now than I was then. Um, there it was basically the shadows were like all around and you don't know which one of them was actually going to harm you here. It's, you can't tell where the enemies are half the time. You can hear them and there's so much ambient noise coming from everywhere. Again, if you're not wearing headphones, you're not doing yourself justice. The sound design in this game is amazing. I can't tell half the time if something is just ambient noise or footsteps or if a gasp is from james or just ambient noise or if it's from a monster hiding it's really well done uh, again the the small issues i have with the monsters during combat is annoying i did mention before i feel like the combat is not the greatest but this game's not about the combat i mean half the game is the combat but it's more about immersing yourself in the world of Silent Hill, which they have done. The combat, you can argue, is kind of 
done badly on purpose. In the main game, it was kind of meant to be that way as well. Because James is not a fighter. He's not a soldier or like a policeman or anything. He barely knows how to handle a gun. You know, how it's easy to say that you could pick up like an eight by like a two by four, like a fucking pipe, and being able to wail on things. But if you've never actually been in combat with with these weapons, with these improv weapons, no less, you know, you're gonna suck. And that's the mentality of it. That that's why the combat is not great. It hinders the game as well. But again, it's it's meant to be that way. I think anyway. That's what I believe. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the playthrough. As I said, I'm I'm tapped out for now. I'm fucking done. Uh, I will uh, no doubt continue very, very soon, as I'm sure. <laughs> about In about 20 minutes, I'll be like, I should have just kept going. Like, fuck the, the hour and a half time or whatever. Just Just keep going. But it is pretty late. I got to get to bed soon, regardless. Anyways, I'm rambling again, as I tend to do. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.